Hello and welcome to the latest in the series of Manufacturing Management's Meet the Sponsor interviews, where we speak to some of the sponsors uh, for the upcoming Scottish Manufacturing Advisory Service Conference taking place digitally uh, on the 15th and 16th of June. Uh, Manufacturing Management is the primary media partner for the event, uh, which this year is titled Making Scotland's Future. Uh, it's going to be exploring the role that manufacturing is playing um, in, in helping Scotland recover um, post-pandemic. Uh, and I'm delighted to be joined today by not one, but two guests. Um, first up, we've got Amy Dool, Marketing, Communications and Engagement Manager at conference sponsor Booth Welsh. Um, joining Amy is Chris McComb, Managing Director of iTech, which is a, a division of Booth Welsh. Thanks to you both for joining me today. Um, Amy, we'll come to you first. Uh, why are Booth Welsh and, and iTech supporting the conference this year? So Booth Welsh and iTech are really looking forward to supporting this mass national conference as headline sponsors. So we've collaborated and shared the stage with this mass team at a number of events over the last few years. And I think the vision for this year's conference is one that we really believe in and, and can really get behind. I think it goes without saying it's been such an unbelievably difficult year for businesses in every area and industry of the world. And as we start to see a bit of light at the end of the tunnel and move into more of a post-pandemic mindset, I think this conference is a fantastic opportunity to bring together Scotland's business community and really ask that question of how we all build back better together and actually become more resilient. Mm, absolutely. And, and how have you helped um, clients and, and customers over the past year or so? Yep. So as a business heavily involved in digital technology, we've supported many clients to continue to operate and I suppose essentially do more with less over the last year, which really has been quite, quite a lifesaver for, for many. Um, we're looking forward to sharing more of these stories to hopefully inspire businesses and actually showcase the art of the possible that everyone can actually tap into. Absolutely, yeah. And um, as part of your sponsorship, you're running a workshop. Um, what, what is your workshop theme and, and why have you picked that particular theme? Yep, so I think, you know, there's some fantastic uh, workshops and sessions that are going to be part of the actual conference. Um, and I think a really key theme that a lot of businesses have on their mind today, and they're looking to understand and unpick is how they actually recover from this pa pandemic, but actually do it in a sustainable way. And I think digital technologies will be really key to actually underpinning this. So we'll be delivering a workshop on what we are calling Environment 4.0. Mm -hmm. so I think for a long time, many corporations felt that improving their operations and protecting the environment had to be two conflicting objectives or priorities and really understanding that more, it doesn't have to actually be the case. You know, emerging technologies provide a really great opportunity to fully align business and environmental goals. So we'll be looking at how we can practically help businesses to embrace new and low carbon technologies that will actually increase their competitiveness um, and obviously help them build back better uh, towards that net zero emissions target that we've got by 2045. Absolutely, yeah, thanks Thanks for that, Amy. Um, Chris, I'll come to you now. Um, what do Booth Welsh and I suppose iTech um, offer um, for Scottish manufacturing? Good morning, Chris. Um, so Booth Welsh and iTech uh, offer a fully integrated engineering solution, just like a mini EPC. This provides cost-effective solutions and value to both brownfield and greenfield projects. We closely couple this to a strong environmental strategy, which helps us utilise technology to reduce CO2 footprint in our customers and ourselves. Thanks, uh, thanks, Chris. And, and how important is uh, the manufacturing sector going to be? I mean, um, Amy mentioned it a little bit um, earlier on with, with Building Back Better and, and the kind of green agenda, but how important is manufacturing going to be to, to the Scottish economy and that of the wider UK um, as it recovers? Um, yeah, and, and in my opinion, manufacturing is one of the strongest and most important sectors to grow mm -hmm. the economy. It generates GDP, which is one of the biggest things, obviously, but also employment, investment, education, training. But by using clever approaches to, to manufacturing uh, and developing solutions around that, mm -hmm. um, it allows uh, approval and delivery that we can then assist customers and align them to produce cost-effective solutions. So we then use technology to assist them to improve their manufacturing. Um, and then we can maybe get some investment in Scottish manufacturing again. We work closely with people like NMIS and the AFRC to help develop that, as well as with SMAS and other organisations. 
Of course, yeah, and and um, NMIS are are indeed a sponsor of of the conference. Um, I think you know it, it's obviously very um, very pertinent with what you're saying and, and what the, the kind of wider theme of the conference is. Unfortunately, we we can't really we don't have time to explore that uh, much further. But if you've you know been inspired by what Amy and Chris have said and, and want to join their workshop and of course listen to the world class conference lineup that makes up the rest of the conference. Um, the, the lineup includes speakers such as Henrik von Schiel, the, the so-called father of Industry 4.0, and Remy Goldrap, CEO of Goldrap Consulting, who I'm sure many people watching this will have uh, will have heard of. Um, just visit www.smas.co.uk to book your place. Um, but my thanks for now go to Amy and Chris for their time today and to everybody who's, who's watched. Um, I look forward to seeing you all at the conference, 15th and 16th of June. Until then, though, stay safe and goodbye. <laughs>